Now that I've finished all the case reviews that I've had planned for the Galaxy Note 9, it's time to go ahead and toast it. I've already removed my dbrand skin and my white stone dome so that I could get ready for this video. Enan here from Udroid Mania, and you're watching my toast insulation video. So let's get to it. Now this skin is real wood. They're handmade and held on by 3M adhesive. They do have options for laptops, tablets, gaming consoles, and more, so I'll link up their website down below so that you can go and check them out. They've got many different designs and colors as well to choose from, or you can even create your own. Today as we walk through the install, you should know that the entire process takes about 10 minutes, so not long in my opinion. Inside of the packaging, you'll get everything that you need for the install. And similar to installing a screen protector, you'll want to thoroughly clean your phone both front and back, and make sure that you dry it as well. I started the install with a camera inlay. Just line it up using the cameras as your guides and press it into place. This 3M adhesive is very sticky, but you shouldn't have a problem, especially with this piece. Next, I remove the backing from the main part of the skin itself using an X-Acto knife. Now you'll need something sharp to do this because either there's not or I couldn't find it, but I didn't see a starting point, so just be careful as you do it. Once you get all the backing off, you can use your USB cable plugged into the phone as usual to help you guide and line up the skin. Trust me, this part will make things easier. Once you've got that done, go ahead and slowly lower the skin down into place. And if you're like me and didn't get things right the first time around, you'll want to keep a heat gun or a blow dryer handy so that you can remove the skin. But if you have to do that, do it quickly. When you do get it right, you can see that things line up nicely. Now go ahead and roll the sides, top and bottom down to make sure that they conform to the phone. And then go ahead and make sure to check out your S Pen so that you don't have any issues later that you didn't know about. On mine, no problems here. And after a quick check, everything does appear to be in order, so we're ready for the front facing skin. After all of the handling, I did clean and dry the front of the phone one more time before installing. You know, just for good measure. And now that we've got that out of the way, just repeat the same process, this time using the front facing camera and sensors to line things up. So make sure that you start with the top and then press the bottom half into place. So we're just about done, now it's time for the buttons. We install those by peeling them off and placing them in their respective places. I also press each of the buttons a few times each to make sure that they're not going to stick on me. Lastly, on the back, I only added two of the inlays here so that I could still see the blue color of my note. On your phone, you can do what you feel. So that's it for the install, here it is. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below, would you toast your phone? For me, I think I'll be leaving this one on for a little while. Okay, so there you guys have it. I think I like this setup for my Galaxy Note 9, so I'll be sticking with it for a while. Like I said earlier, you get a nice design and some protective qualities that won't take away from the beauty of this phone. I've got a link you know where, and you know what to do. Next up in the Note 9 series, I'll be covering what's on my phone and putting the camera up against the iPhone XS Max, so make sure that you stick around for that. If you've enjoyed today's video, do leave a thumbs up, and if you're new here, subscribe before you go. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you in my next one.